spell three man ganked. Which I suppose is kind of um, to be expected because he was way overextended. So yeah, we're just kind of uh, screwing around, really. Um, Corky's farming. I'm trying to farm some too because I'm gonna need at least uh, a, a good amount of gold to get my Triforce. Triforce is like the most expensive item of the game, I think. I think it is. I'm not sure, but it is pretty expensive. But even with just like a, a Sheen, Gangplank is pretty effective because that double damage from that Q is pretty effective. Well, the double damage from his base attack, it's not the double damage from the uh, actual what Q does, I believe. But it's still, it's still really helpful. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to keep farming, honestly. Trundle's there. And they are doing, I believe, I, I noticed that somebody's doing our red, I believe it's Sivir. So, we all go in. I go in. Sivir's in the bush. She exhausts me. But, I don't really care. I go ahead and use my old try and stop Trundle. And we are going to kill Sivir. We have an excellent crit there. And I pick up the kill. And red buff. Um, so yeah. We just took out two of them, and we decided it's time to push mid. But Rise is here, and Rise says, No, you're not going to push mid, because I'm fed. Uh, you can see he's two levels above our mid. That's never good. And I'm going to die here, because, yeah. Rise got pretty fed, and I'm going to die to the last tick of Ignite. And I hate it. Dying, dying to the last tick of Ignite is just so irritating. Um, I couldn't cleanse out of uh, Alistair's thing or whatever. I mean, I used my heal too. But I think I was ignited when um, I used it, so if I hadn't been ignited, I would have lived. So I'm 3 3 and 3. Um, not great, not bad, but for like something new like this, I, I suppose it's pretty good. Um, I didn't expect to do very well, to be honest. Uh, so I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. So I go ahead and I buy a zeal and I buy a mana crystal for my sheen. Um, so yeah, I have dodge boots and three gold for fives, a zeal and a mana crystal. I have like no actual like pretty like heavy investment gold items. Um, and apparently Rise's Q applies on hit effects because he slowed me with his Q uh, with red buff. I have no idea how, but okay, I. Okay. Um, he might have auto-attacked me, but it didn't look like it. So I have no idea. But yeah, I have like no actual really heavy gold investment. I'm still pretty effective right now. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one of the things why I'm thinking support gangplank might actually work pretty well. Is because he doesn't really require that much heavy gold investment to be pretty effective with, with a team. And once he does get those heavy gold investment items like Triforce and uh, Atmos, he is pretty pretty uh, pretty scary so yeah and I have 454 is that 454 yeah that's 454 move speed and that's without my active so I'm really fast gangplank is really fast uh, it's one of the reasons why I like him <laughs> I like being fast it's really annoying being a slow 300 move speed carry or something but yeah they're going top and I believe Victor's gonna die, or is it Garen? Not Garen's gonna die. Um, so I have to go top. I use my ult, try and save him, but to no avail. So I'm gonna go top, and we're gonna try and defend this tower. Uh, Corky's gonna keep farming bottom, because that's what you do with a carry is you farm, and then it gets to like 30, 40 minutes, and then you kill everything, which he does. He he gets pretty fed. Um, and, yeah, we're gonna get dived. Victor is gonna go down. Oh, no, he doesn't live. I don't know how he lives. But, yeah, we go ahead, and I pick up Trindamir. And Zero is still at the tower. Alive. I don't know how. Uh, he's gonna die, I think. Um, so, yeah, Trundle is taking a lot of damage, so I just decided to go in and kill him. And Rise snares me. I, my oranges are not up. But I live, because I don't know how, because Ryze should have had something off of Kulan to kill me there, but he didn't. I'm not complaining. I picked up two kills, didn't die. 
Um, I don't know if our tower's still alive, let me go check. Yeah, our tower's still alive somehow. We only lost two people. Uh, I believe they lost three people. Yeah, they lost three people. And, yeah, that's a pretty good trade for them having, like, four people on that tower and we had, like, three. Um, so yeah, that was good. Now I go ahead and pick up my sheen. And I'm just basically letting my gold for fives get me good, good income while I go farm the jungle, because you don't really have a jungle or two farm the jungle. So, that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, we've defended top tower somehow. Um, so it's basically even on towers. Uh, I believe Puddle picked up bot tower while that insanity was happening or something. Um, so yeah. I have a good bit of crit right now. I think I have got 36%. Um, I believe I end the game with like 61 or something. Uh, I really don't think support flank would work nearly as well if you didn't have early crit chance runes because that just random like 1 in 4 crit on your Q would be ridiculously painful against squishies, um, which it kind of was. Um, just Sivir had the shield to block it, I couldn't really uh, do anything against that. If it was somebody else, then it would be a little bit more effective, I bet, because they could block it. So, yeah. I um, also want to kind of try support Nunu, uh, because, well, that would just be kind of funny. Uh, make your carry really fast and really get, like, a lot of attack speed. It would just be really annoying with the Q and lane, or whatever it is. His ice ball is his his giant nuke that um, slows you down to crawl. Pretty funny. But yep. So sport gangplank is working a lot better than I expected. Um, I'd, I'd seen it done before. I just hadn't really thought it would be that good. Uh, so yeah, we're just basically both teams are farming because it's pretty even. We have five more kills than they do, but they have more towers, or no, they have, they have fed rise, and we have our mid carries, just kind of like, meh, just nothing. But yeah, Zero goes ahead and takes like a third of his health from Ryzen's full rotation. Um, yeah, Ryzen's pretty, pretty fed right now. Kind of scared of him. Um, I believe I buy a Banshee's Veil to deal with him a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, we're mid, we, we really want to take this tower out, um, I, I think it's low, but yeah, I go ahead and get a crit, um, RNG is my friend, I've always had good luck with RNG, Puddle never has good luck with RNG, he always gets owned by RNG, um, it's pretty funny, uh, well, kind of, not really, but it is kind of funny. And I go ahead and put some damage down on his uh, red buff. I probably shouldn't have because my poison might have killed it. Um, we've been playing a co-op versus AI game for this, and I stole his red buff accidentally. He thinks I did it on purpose, but I didn't. If you're watching this puddle, I did not steal your red buff on purpose. It was an accident. But yeah, he he was he was he was kind of mad at me. Um, he was like, "Don't attack this! Don't attack this! Your poison might take it." Um, so I ignored him and attacked it, but he got it, so it's okay. Pirate with red, pi ugh, pirate, pirate with red buff is okay. It's it's good, uh, but I'd rather have it on Corky. So Trendemir is basically like I can't do anything right now. I think he's like 0 and 5 or something. No, he's 0 and 6. He really can't do anything. So what he's doing is just pushing. He's split pushing. Um, and that's one thing that it's really hard to do against Gangplank. You can't. It's really hard to split push against Gangplank because of his ult. And I go ahead and ult top, trying to save it. But I should have saved my ult for bottom because Trindamir is just going to keep split pushing. I figured he would have gone back, but he's not. He's going to take bottom inner tower. That's not. It's never good to lose an inner tower. So I'm basically going to try and get down there and save it as if I can. I can't really. But I have my Triforce now, so that's good. Um, I yeah, he's he's just gonna attack the minions, but I'm gonna try and try and attack these minions. But not, it's, it's not gonna do anything. He's just gonna take it out. Your has been destroyed. 
and they took out our top tower, and Victor wants to surrender because Victor is sucking. Um, well, if you're sucking, you usually want to surrender. Um, I am not of that uh, mentality. If I'm sucking, I want to keep playing so I can do better. But most people are quitters in League of Legends, and, well, that's about all I'm going to say about that. So they're going to try and take out this tower. I'm not sure if they do, but we we know that Alistair doesn't have his ult. I believe none of them do. So 